Hello, my name is Elliot and I'm a podiatrist here at East Coast Podiatry in Singapore. And today I have Maverick, whose parents noticed he walks on his toes. Toe walking is a common trait of children who suffer from flat foot. It can affect both boys and girls, and if left untreated, can continue into adult life as the tendons along the back of the leg tighten and shorten. Both mum and dad noted that the patient would often complain of achy or tired legs approximately 30 minutes into an otherwise easy walk. The parents reported that when walking around, the patient would state that he is tired and would then ask to be carried. The parents naturally assumed this was because the patient was generally tired or the most common excuse, laziness. Because of this assumption, many children continue to display tiptoe gait and will often go untreated. Many parents will seek advice and the most predominant advice given is wait, they will grow out of it, which is a dangerous assumption as your child will be growing a lot over the years. So getting a clear diagnosis of the current issues can prevent future ones. When I assessed Maverick, the first thing I checked is if the toe walking was due to a neurological deficit. If he finds it tough placing his heel on the ground, it indicates that there might be an issue with the nerves around the spinal brain. A good test for this is to get your child to penguin walk, bearing weight on their heels as they walk. Fortunately, Maverick was able to walk on his heels so we could rule out a neurological deficit. Then, what could it be, you might ask? Well, for Maverick, we assessed that he has a hypermobile flat foot. Most parents assume that being flat foot is normal, like most of the populace in Singapore. However, majority of flat foot conditions start in childhood and clinical findings and research states that adults with flat foot suffer with more pain and deformities than those with higher arch profiles. This is very important for parents to know because flat foot should be addressed in childhood for the best outcomes in the future. Aside from his flat foot, he is also hypermobile, which means that his joints exceed past their range of motion. This is important to note because vital supporting structures easily collapse when weight is applied, making standing or walking more stressful for him. When we analyzed Maverick's gait, we noticed he walked on his toes to engage the windless mechanism. The windless mechanism consists of the plantar fascia, which is important for arch support of the foot. Now, this mechanism is very important as it stores up energy for the propulsion part of the gait cycle. However, Maverick has flat feet and the mechanism cannot function effectively and subsequently causes Maverick pain. So he has subconsciously started walking on his toes to engage the windless mechanism to relieve his symptoms. However, even with this new adaptation, it is not sufficient to support the entire body weight. If left untreated, his toe walking will cause muscle contractions, which shorten the tendon at the Achilles. This puts more stress on the secondary joint, which leads to injuries to the child's growth plate. This stunts your child's growth and increases future lower limb conditions. A specialized pediatric ankle foot orthotic was prescribed to stop his toe walking and most importantly, protect all of his joints and soft tissue. Now, the most important step is to track and monitor Maverick's condition over the next few years as he grows. If you notice your child's foot posture or walking looks different, it is best to seek advice from a podiatrist so that we can design a suitable treatment plan to avoid foot complications in the future. Thank you for watching. If you find our podiatry videos informative, please like and share them with someone who might find them useful. If you need to contact us or find one of our clinics, go ahead and take a screenshot now. To subscribe, you can click this button over here. See you in the next video.